Ed is with us in Tampa. Hi, Ed. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey, Dave. Hey, Chris. How are you guys? Great, man. How can we help? Well, my question is, um, I have not been able to work since uh, the COVID came along, um, and my wife has not missed a day. She got a promotion to uh, kind of like um, in charge of uh, the whole department, and she's going to get a $20,000 a year raise starting in January. Um, we finished baby step three. Wonderful. And in Jan- Thank you. And in January, we're going to talk to a smart rescue pro. Now, Beth is going to have to um, do like a lot of traveling, and she's going to be working long hours. Uh-huh. Um, and, and she she says she, she would like me to just stay home, um, you know, take care of the dogs when she's out of town, you know, take care of the, the yard, the house, um, just take care of because, you know, she's going to come home and she's not going to want to make dinner and do all the these dogs? kinds of things. Pardon me? T- stay home to take care of the dogs? No, no, no. There's it's no the kids. House. No kids. Uh, no, grown. Oh. Okay. Yeah. What is she making? Um, just, well, she went from uh, 48 to 68. And I have not been able to work. I've got... Um, uh, I'm one of those high risk people with the COVID and my doctor t- told me that I really need to take this stay at home thing seriously. You're, you're, t- you're ret- you, you've got what kind of a problem medically? Uh, upper respiratory. Upper respiratory. Okay. Yeah. So, and, but even when, when How I was, old are our you? plan was, I am 60. Okay. All right. Um, I was planning on going back to work once the vaccines were available, but we've still been able to save you know, about a thousand dollars a month, um, putting it in the bank. Um, and she's going to get this big bump in her raise with her, not her Which raise. She gets position. whether there's somebody at home to watch the dogs or not. So, so you think it's I, a, a I, bad decision? Well, I, I don't understand it is what I'm saying. That's why I'm being sarcastic. It, it, there's, um, I mean, if you are now, want, now there's a couple of caveats. I do understand you're not working if you have a health concern with upper respiratory and COVID. I sure no trouble, but that may right. be. Let's just call that. Um, let's just reach out there and say a year from now, for whatever reason, vaccine or whatever other reason, that that's no longer a concern. You are a 61 year old right. man, and your job is to sit at home and watch the house. Yeah, I know. I know. That's just it's weird. Making sense. Plus, I feel really guilty, you know. I mean, I'm not, tr- I'm not trying always, to guilt you. It's just strange. I've always worked, you know. Yeah, I've, never, right. I've never been unemployed in my life. Right. Well, Ed, here's the thing, buddy. I, I think, you know, you being conscious of your health situation, I think, is one thing. Uh, but you have opportunities to be able to work from home. You've got opportunities to be able to do things where you're not encountering other people. So I, I don't think you just throw in the towel because your wife got a $20,000 raise. And if that's what her thought is, I want to suggest you sit down and, and really kind of speak yours, uh, your thoughts, your feelings, to make sure you guys now, are getting on the same page. All of this is the other side of a health concern. Okay, If there's a health concern, right. we're, we're sitting down. You're on the bench. Okay, I got no issue with that at all. But the other side of a health concern, there's just great dignity in work. There's not much dignity in watching the dogs. There's just not. I mean, you, they go out twice a day and you feed them. I mean, there's just not a lot to do here. So, um, you know, it, it's uh, – uh, no, I think, I think if uh, it's going to be good for your mental health, mm-hmm. regardless of your bank account, for you to be doing something. As soon as you're medically able to yeah. do so with wisdom. Right. And um, so, no. Now, most of the time I hear, honestly, when something like this comes up, there's kids at home, and she's making 680000 Right. Not 68000 Yeah, no, it's a zero and a comma. And, and then no. she wants to, you know, yeah. th- then she wants you to stay home and take care of business because she's out there killing it. Right. Okay, we can talk about that. But, dude, 68000 yeah. bucks. Well, here's the other side of this coin, too, Dave. He said she's going to be traveling a lot. So that means he's not going to see her, and so he needs to have something to yeah to to pour into. So Ed, listen, sit down, have a conversation. Uh, You guys talk, and if you can't get agreement, you might need to reach out and get with a marriage counselor to help you guys kind of navigate this and and uh, make a long term decision. Yeah.